Good morning, everybody. It is day two of Fittober, and I am going to be doing, I think, this 40-minute pyramid walking workout to get 3,600 steps. Um, even though I'm not really keeping track of steps, it's still that's the workout we're going to be doing today, so let's get started. I'll have a link to the same exact video that I'm following along with down in the comments, but if you're starting on your own journey and you don't feel like you have 40 minutes in you, they have a bunch of really great like 10 and 15 minute um, walking exercises too. Okay, so I completely misunderstood the assignment on the Train With Joan app. I thought it was just 40 minutes of cardio, but she's got us, it, it's six different exercises that should be taking us 40 minutes. So instead, I'm going to be doing a different yes to next video that is just 10 minutes. So, um, because I was like, man, that's a lot for day two, but okay, here we go. So points for enthusiasm, but, uh, we're going to do, we're going to just follow along with it and I'm going to keep y'all up to date. We did it. That's a great job. Workout completed. And I click done. I don't feel like giving feedback about how I did, but uh, tomorrow, wait, why is it, oh, okay, tomorrow we do lower body one, and it says that it'll take about 40 minutes, um, but look at that, two day streak, two workouts complete, well that's the start of a new habit, you guys. Hey guys, so I'm just vlogging from, from the floor today. We just finished day, where I lost my hair clip, day two, workout two, um, and it was, it was pretty awesome. Like, I was coming in braced to be doing uh, 40 minutes of steady state cardio because I kind of, I didn't, I made assumptions, <laughs> but just doing the 10 minutes of cardio and then a little bit of, you know, flopping around on the ground, stretching, getting my abs, like it was just enough to feel challenging. But the hardest part for me today was I woke up so stiff. And I'm trying to not go from zero to 60 overnight, like maximum overdrive. Like we talked about that a bit yesterday, I think, but it's, I'm really trying to ease myself into this. And I still think I'm just going to end up having that like two weeks of everything sore in a different way every single day. That is what I'm bracing myself for. So I'm planning for the, um, how can I take that into account and make it less miserable because I'm going to have to trudge through it. And if I don't trudge through it and stick with it this time, then for the rest of my life, every time... I, I want to do be there for myself like this. I'm going to have to trudge through that two weeks all over again. So I'm not saying this is going to be the last time that I trudge through the two weeks of, you know, kind of stiffness and soreness uh, getting started, but I've done it before. I know I can do it this time in the ways that I'm doing this. And I'm staying super hydrated. I'm eating bananas. Well, just one banana a day, but I might have it in a protein smoothie today just because it's starting to get cold and it's not going to be really great like protein smoothie with frozen fruit in it weather for too much longer. That's such an odd way to justify. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, staying hydrated, um, making, doing my workouts as like pleasant and rewarding as possible. So now that I've done my workout, I get to light my incense and my candles make, and like kind of like chill on the couch with I'm going to make myself a second cup of coffee um, and treat myself for having done the barest of minimums. But I'm going to clearly a lifetime of punishing myself has not disciplined me into doing the behaviors that I want to see myself do. So I'm training myself the same way I'd train any of my puppies. And that's not a professional dog trainer, by the way, just with my, whenever I was training up Millie, it's like positive reinforcement. Every time I do even the slightest thing correctly, I'm going to give myself big rewards, um, in ways that aren't detrimental. Uh, you know, so I'm trying to avoid food rewards, like cheap foods kind of thing. But even then I'm, that was another thing. You know they say working out supposed to clear your mind, and I swear to, it just riles all my hand, like all my all my like brain cells get riled up and start having their own little, you know, thing that they're excited about. 
I woke up wanting to like revamp my whole life today be like it's day two I could do this and I went from wanting to do that to being like feeling overwhelmed to the point that I didn't even want to do my workout because I was like well, I'm stiff and sore and <sighs> but we showed up and that was the goal was to show up so just the fact that I feel great about today's workout I think is an absolute and total win um just showing up just showing up so this is fittober day two and we did it for the rest of the day I am going to try to stay kind of active just to keep myself from getting very very stiff and there is a desperate amount of hard work that needs done that Randy and I are going to be tackling throughout the month of October to get I have no idea what that was about but um Randy and I are going to be tackling the yard just a little at a time, bite-sized chunks post-workout for the remainder of the month to get the winter ready for garden, or uh, to get the garden ready for winter. Um, I'm not putting in any plants or anything this fall. I'm going to focus on soil building. Um, so we're probably going to get a bunch of leaves from the recycling center and just top dress all the beds and get them tucked in um, for, you know, just stay in nice and easy and hopefully tidy if I can keep the chickens out of them uh, for over the winter to prepare ourselves for next year's uh, spring garden. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep y'all posted about that. Um, but next month, with this being Fittober, next month I was thinking about having it be Nom Nom November and that's where I was going to focus on um, maintaining and continuing what we're doing, what we've started, it's day two, it's the start of a habit, um, here with Fittober, I'd like to carry that through into November, but in November, I'm going to start tracking calories. I shouldn't say that with a question in my voice. I need a more solid plan because if I have a more solid plan, then there's less mystery about it because I'm like, I guess I'll count calories. I've never been sustainably and consistently successful with counting calories, but for the month of November, I'm going to focus on keeping my calories at around 2,000 calories, which I think is perfectly reasonable. I'm not trying to go balls to the walls with this 1,200 calorie a day crap that I've tried in the past that just made me very miserable, no, both for my own self and I'm sure I was miserable to be around as well because uh it's just miserable I don't like having headaches I don't like feeling cranky like I I depend very heavily and I'm not I'm not trying to excuse myself but I depend very heavily on the emotional and stress releasing aspects of eating it's what my husband and I do for fun together we sit down and we have a meal and um I'm trying to add other things onto our plate that are not food that we can do together that are enjoyable um and also trying to find ways to like i if i'd like to slow down whenever i eat it is not a race um and so you know like just lots of different things that i'm gonna just ease myself into i don't know exactly how everything's gonna pan out i just know that i have to break the seal i don't know how this month is gonna go but i know that we're gonna do it and so it, yesterday was the breaking of the seal to get it started. And we're just going to keep going. So I'm very excited about that. And November will be Nom Nom November. And we'll see how that goes. And then uh, it'll be like Deca Step December. Because I'm going to try to do like 10,000 steps a day in December, um, possibly. And do you see what I mean? Like I get so like, oh, I'm going to make a plan. And then... I just, I don't want to get all wrapped up in making the plan, even though it does get me very excited. I want to just be here, be present, focus on this one thing that's in front of me and that is showing up. And again, we did it. Like, that's a win. And it's not, I don't even know what time it is, but it's not even, we've not even had breakfast yet. So that's phenomenal. And I think I will see y'all tomorrow. Well, I know I'll see y'all tomorrow because I'm going to be making the video because gosh darn it I said so so <laughs> uh, check in with me down in the comments there will be links to the um, I don't know if I can link an app 
but it's the train with Joan app is what I'm following along with. And for the 10 minute like cardio section, I followed along with the yes to next and I will have a link to that video down in the in the like the video description area. And y'all, I so thoroughly enjoy um April and Iko over on yes to next and I'm it's just it gave me such a perfectly bite-sized beginner spot. And so I'm just I'm so pleased to be day 2. We did it. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like do stuff, I guess. But I will see y'all tomorrow. And until then, keep on keeping on. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>